Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This short tutorial video is to show you how to update your firmware, the HTX firmware in your Radio Master GX12. Now this is the first time we could do it because it's now been added to the HTX um, list of radios. So let's take a look at the computer. I'm going to leave all the links in the description below so you'll be able to go and get the links if you need them. Now let's update the firmware in the radio. But first thing we need to do is take the radio plug in our USB cable into the radio and into our computer. Then we need to hold the SG button here because the GX12 has a different way of getting into the DFU mode. So we're going to hold that button down, the SG button, and turn the power on and the radio should be detected by the computer. There we go. All right, now if we go back to the TX Buddy here, um, HTX Buddy. We can now, we're on the right version, we're going to click here and we're going to select the GX12. Then we're going to say flash by as we can download the file and put it onto the computer, onto the radio manually if you want to, but this method is the flashing via the USB C. Now you can see we come up with this screen, we've got to add a device, and you should see STM32 bootloader there. That means we were good to go. So we click on there and we connect. So now we go next, we make sure we have got the right firmware for our radio, the Radio Master GX12, and it's going to the STM32 bootloader. So if we click start, and the process should, shouldn't take too long. I'll show you this in real time so you have some idea of how long it takes. And there we go, it's done. So we can now go and uh, remove the... Oh, it already has done. Okay, so we can just unplug our radio. Let's unplug the USB cable. Let's power it up. Make sure everything comes on okay. And if we go into the system menu and go across one, we should see we've got 2.110 Jolly Mon. And there we go, the firmware is on our radio. So it's just to remember with this rate that the um, other radios, you normally put the trim tabs in, uh, the horizontal ones and hold them in and then power up. But with, the, with this radio, which I thought it might be different because it doesn't have a, a memory card. Um, it's got internal memory. So all you do is you hit the SG button, hold that one down. Oh, sorry, beg your pardon. Plug your radio into your computer right, via USB-C. And then hold that button down, the SG button, power on. And then you're good to go. Well, I do hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And remember, all the links to everywhere you need to go will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Thank you.